Max has been following the Cubs from the beginning. We've got these special remote cameras and we're rigging up the enclosure for the Cubs. From now on, they can't have any human interaction at all if they're going to be released as wild tigers. So we've got to set up these cameras, drop way back, and then hopefully we'll get a glimpse of them coming out for the first time. The team need to see how the Cubs are recovering from their ordeal. The last time Max saw them, one of the Cubs was in critical condition. The cameras will allow scientists to observe the Cubs from a cabin 100 metres away. As night falls, the cubs still haven't emerged from the hut. Max settles in to keep watch. I haven't really seen any activity yet. I think we all thought the cubs would be coming out, all three of them together. It's nearly midnight now and we've got the infrared lights up, but we haven't seen a single sign of any cubs. It might take a few days, or at least a couple of nights, before they even come out. But to his surprise, there's movement in the enclosure. Uh, look at it. Amazing. It's the third cub, the one who almost died. Bloody hell, they've grown. <laughs> He's looking so healthy. They've been inside that hut for so long. It's a real safe haven for them, so it's a massive leap for them. And it, but it's just the start of the journey, a long, long journey of becoming a tiger again. I mean, I really just want to come back and see them in the day. By the next morning, all three cubs are out. Over the next 12 months, this space will be enlarged and live prey will be released so that the cubs can learn to hunt. Incredibly, these three cubs represent 1% of the entire wild population. If their luck holds, within a year they could be back in the forest. The next generation of Siberian tigers. <laughs>